Hello guys, and in this video I'm going to show you the entire digital character sculpting process from beginning to end. In this video I'm going to sculpt Cartoon Pumpkin character based on artwork by Derek Laffman. This character also will be ready for 3D printing and you can always download it from the link in the description for free. I started creating this character from its head because it is the most important part of this character. I shaped it and created his eye sockets, his nose and his eye brows with clay build up and move brushes. Then I added spheres to create the top part of the pumpkin and also used move brush to shape it. Next, I added a cylinder for his neck and a sphere for his t-shirt. I also spent some time looking for proportions of the head and the body because it was not easy to determine them. Then I added some details to the head with damp standard brush, so it looks more like a pumpkin. After this, I added another cylinder to the scene for his hands and stretched it with Gizmo 3D. Next, I added one more cylinder for his shorts, mirrored it and also duplicated his hand so our character has two hands. Then I zero meshed his head to add more details to it using damp standard and clay build up brush. And I also used the same brush to edit proportions of the nose a little bit. Now you can see how I am adding more details to the top part of his head using Move Brush and Dynamath. After this, I started creating his clothes, adding more and more spheres and cylinders. Also, you could have noticed that this character doesn't have any symmetry, and this is because when you create character for 3D printing, it just doesn't matter if you have symmetry or not. After creating his sleeve from a simple sphere, I extracted more details to it using mask brush. Then I just mirrored his sleeve and placed it to his hand and merged the sleeves with his t-shirt. Next I added one more cube for his shorts and merged it with two cylinders which I created earlier. I used Dynamash and Smooth Brush to erase the seams between his cube and the cylinders. Then I used zero measures so I could easily change them and also used mask brush and gizmo 3D to make them look like on the concept. After this I also applied zero measure to his t-shirt. Next with move brush I made it look like Next with move brush I made it look a bit shabbier. Then I merged his buff hands using Dynamesh and Smooth Brush and also Zero Mesh them. Next I decided to create his vest using Extract option and Mask Brush. I selected the area where I wanted vest to be and extracted it. I also deleted one of its sides and added consistent thickness to it using Dynamax Subdivision and Zero Meshed it. After this, I extracted his scarf and used Move Brush and Dynamash to stretch it. After I stretched it, I used Zero Mesh to it. Next, I decided that it is time to add more details and I detailed his hat using some Alphas and Orb Cracks brush to create some sharp lines on his head. I also added him mouth using damp standard brush. Next, I used move brush to create some expression on his face and turned his head with Gizmo 3D. After this, I added some more details to the scarf with move brush. After this, I started adding some folds on the gloves of our character using damp standard and orb cracks brush which you can download it from the internet for free.
Next, I decided to create legs of our character and added two cylinders and one sphere to the scene which I placed, shaped and merged them. After this, I mirrored it and used Mask Brush and Gizmo 3D to shape it. Then I found some wood alphas and used them and damp standard brush to create some details on his legs. After this, I also used the same alphas to create details on his hands. Next, I extracted his belt and used zero measure to create nice topology. After this, I decided to create his branch. I added cylinders, stretched it with Gizmo 3D and used mask, move brushes and alphas to add more and more details to it. Next, I zero meshed it and projected all the details from the high poly version to the low poly version of the model. Next, I extracted some more clothes and on his hands and imported my stylized hand which I use for each of my character. I bent his fingers using polygroups and gizmo 3D. After this, I started creating his back in Blender. I started with a simple cube, stretched it and extruded the top parts of his back and also added some details to it. Then I duplicated it, sized it and placed. When our back was ready, I imported it in ZBrush and placed it in our scene. When the character was almost ready, I decided to create the environment of the character. So I added cylinder and spheres to create some stones and duplicated them. Next, I added another sphere to create the pumpkin and used damp standard brush to add some details to it. Next, I added one more sphere to create the top part of the pumpkin and used move brush to shape it. Then I duplicated stones all over the ground and created another sphere for the carrot and also added details to it like stretches and leaves. And then I just duplicated this character. Next, I decided to create the, bu the bush and found on internet this cool stylized bush which I used in my work.
and then I added some grass with simple spheres and move brush. And now our character is almost ready so we can start poly painting it. First off I added some base colors to each object and only then started adding details with the colors. When our character is almost ready, it is time to prepare it for 3D printing, but I forgot to record the main part of this process. So if you have some questions, you can always check my guide about it on the channel. When I imported our character in Mal when I imported my character, then I imported our character in Marmoset Toolback 4 
Apply the vertex color and set the light so it emphasizes the shape of the character and Finally, I pressed render button and here is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this process. If you have some questions left, you can always write them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and comment what you think about this model in the comments below. Thank you for watching.